Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. I'm getting close to being finished with the bodies of these heirloom bubbles. And today I'm gonna to be attaching some snaps to the crotch of the garment. Now, normally on heirloom garments, I put buttons. But on this particular one, I'm going to put plastic snaps because the grandmother who's having them made for the little girl cousins um, wanted them, well, first we made it out of Imperial Batiste so that it would be much more wash and wear. Um, and she just wants to make it easy on her two daughter-in-laws. Now, if you go to the big box stores, you can buy these little plastic snaps now I'm gonna put four snaps on the crotch of my garment, or four or two sets, including four pieces. Um, these particular plastic snaps, they come with a head that has sort of like a pin on it, and then there is a female part and a male part. So you have to kind of dig through the little bags. Now, if you go to the big box stores, they sell these plastic snaps, mostly just in white and black. But if you go on Amazon, you can buy a kit that has a lot of different colors. Now, I very seldom use these little plastic snaps, so I bought a kit that had about 10 different colors with about, um, I guess, 50 or 100 little sets of snaps inside of them. So I've got some blue snaps for my blue bubble, and I've got some pink snaps for my pink bubble. Now, I've done a little bit of prep work ahead of time. Um, one of the things I find very useful is to use my fabric marking pen and mark on the crotch of my bubble, which is the front, an F for front, um, and a B for the back of the crotch. Now, these little snaps, um, if you get them in, you know, a you know, installed on the garment in the wrong orientation, they're nearly impossible to get out. Um, it is possible to get it out, but I mean, it just is really hard. Now, if you go to one of the big box stores, you can buy one of these plastic snap plier kits. Okay, this one is made by Dritz. Now, in this particular kit, it comes with some replacement parts. It comes with a plier, um, and it also comes with an awl that I'm gonna to use to create a couple of holes to put the head of the snap in. Okay, now it I as long as you match up your males and your females on these snaps, everything's gonna be okay. Now, I really don't think it matters if the male part goes on the front or the back I mean, it just doesn't matter. Now, what I'm going to do on the front of the garment, I want the head of the snap to be on the outside, and I want the um, either male or female part to be on the inside of the garment. So I'm going to use the little the awl, and I'm going to punch a hole where I have it marked. Now, what I did ahead of time was I marked these holes, they're an inch and a half apart, but it just depends on your garment, how far apart you want it. So you can see the two holes that I've made with my awl. Okay, now I'm going to apply the head of the snap through the hole that I made with the awl. And this time I'm gonna use one of the male pieces. Like I said, I think it really doesn't matter if you use the male piece or the head piece. Now using this plier attachment, put the head of the snap into the bottom and then put the male part on the top and then squeeze the plier. And then the snap is in place. I kind of got a little bit on there. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other one, making sure, now that was the male part, so I'm gonna put the male part on this other one on the front of the garment and then use the plier, apply some pressure, and what that does is the plier smushes that little pointy part that was on the head of the 
uh, you know, of the head of the snap, and it holds it in place. Now, this is where you got to be careful. On the back part, I don't want the head of the snap to be on the outside of the garment. I want it to be on the inside of the garment so that the crotch will close neatly. Okay, so I'm going to use my awl again. Now, I have marked on the back um, where the snaps need to go. I'm going to use the awl and make a hole in the garment so that I can poke the head of the snap through. Now, I just got to remind myself, you know, I want the head to be on the inside on the back. So, I'm putting the head in there. And like I said, if you accidentally apply these snaps the wrong direction, they're almost impossible to get off and redo. Okay, so I'm going to use the plier again, apply some pressure, and that positions the snap in place. I've got one more to do. And once again, I want the head of the snap to be on the inside of the garment. Whoa, sorry about that. And now I'm putting the female parts on the snap this time. Like I said, I really think it doesn't matter if, you know, where you put the males and where you put the females as long as they line up. And now I can snap my crotch shut and in a little bit, I'll put a little bit of water on that water-soluble ink and go, and it'll go away. Now then, I've got the casing of the elastic done. I've got the snaps in place. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the placket on the back of the body of the garment. Thank you.